guys welcome Lizzie the Lightworker here at Rainbow Moon today guys I'm bringing you a reading for how did your twin flame break your heart what was the real cause like where did it stem from how did it you know what was the energy leading up to that what was the main reason that your heart was broken and you know now you're in separation so I've got one two or three I'll leave timestamps and let's jump into this all right so if you chose card one what was the worst thing? What was the most heartbreaking thing? How did they break your heart? What was their uh, actions towards you? What was the way they made you feel? Let's see. Ooh, moving on. So they might have just walked away sort of very easily. Um, I feel like this is a good message for you because it's saying don't go backwards. Okay? So it could be that, you know, you felt rejected sort of. And more than just rejection, though, like very deep pain, okay? They triggered something from your past, okay? It could have been a past relationship. It could have been something with uh, your parents. Um, but they made you feel like abandoned and left alone. So I'm getting, you know, that's the major way that they broke your heart. But I feel like it wasn't easy for them to walk away either okay I feel like they might have made it look easy but they're they're really you know they're struggling with it too so that's what hurt the most I mean let's get something else too let's get let's get something else another um you know answer here let's see yeah we've got no contact so that could be very well why this hurts so bad because you feel like they just were able to just do this like take that phone right off the hook and just sort of go and and, and possibly like um you're feeling like ignored so we've got that don't look backwards don't go backwards don't you know sort of i feel like you're doing nothing but that and because of the no contact it actually might be better that way um so you could really open up and start to focus on, you know, your wounds and the things that you need to heal. So let's see what was, um, you know, triggered here. Okay, what was triggered here by that energy of moving on and the no contact? What was triggered? Something that will pop out that's something that was trying to show you what you need to heal because of these two cards. Let's see. Well, we've got patience. So I don't know if your you know your twin had to move on like for a major reason. Maybe it was a personal reason, maybe it really wasn't you. It could have been a messy situation, something like that. But I feel like in the energy, I don't know if they were like telling you like, "Hey, I can't do this right now, so I have to move on." And they felt like it was easier to do it go on with no contact, almost like they were doing you a favor. But now I feel like you're sort of like this lady in waiting. Here. This is the lady in waiting. Um and you're sort of reflecting back on what was good and not thinking about, but this is real. This is real. This person really is gone. This is real. So I feel like it's hasn't sunk in completely yet to you. It hasn't like saturated to you yet. It's not really permanent. You don't want it to be permanent like hands in cement, right? So I feel like there has to be some patience if you want to be open to this person coming back to you. If you're not, and if you feel like you've already wasted enough time and you've already seen this person's true colors, but yet you know you still can't let go, spirit is directly telling you, no, go, because don't go backwards. You can't go backwards. Like In other words, even if you went back to the exact spot in the exact place that you decided to separate or they decided that they were going to move on, the energy would not have changed. Nothing will have changed about that. So I feel like spirit's like, this is definitely for a reason, so don't really sweat it. But I want to see a major event, a major event, a major energy, a major spiritual thing, a major intention, um, a major cycle, something major that pushed this person away or made them choose to move on. So what made them choose to move on? 
We've got planning and action. So I don't know if they had some plans, like they, they were making solid plans to do something or go somewhere. This to me is about moving, um, not just moving on, but possibly even moving geographically moving. I also feel like they had some things already that they were kind of brewing. Like this could have been work stuff or like a major move, like I said, for them or going to school or transferring or changing something. Could have been changing their job. I feel like there was an, a significant opportunity to them that tempted them away. Like they couldn't say no to it. It was like an offer they couldn't refuse. Like they had to go with it. So they were already planning to do this. Whether you knew this or not, they were already in an energy of planning this. They were already in their head like even though they had met you and felt connected to you they felt like they had to go do this like go chase their dream or go chase their fame or whatever it is they needed to do so let's see something else surrounding this and their actions this hopefully can help you yeah look loss so i feel like they definitely feel the loss of you they do feel it they still in some ways feel very tied to you even if they didn't seem like it even if they seemed like it was easy. It wasn't easy, okay? They just made it look that way. They have a way of sort of sheltering down their emotions, okay? They did feel this. They, they do feel this impact on their life. But I feel like they had to act fast in life for whatever this planning and action was. They had to act on it because if not, they wouldn't have been able to deal with the regret of the loss, okay? But they, they still think about you. They're still sort of longing in that energy too, but they're very focused on what they need to be focused on right now. So let's see what else. Yeah, look, we've got stuck energy. So I don't know if that pertains to their past that they personally were in stuck energy or this connection is in stuck energy. I feel like this person had a lot of trouble sort of getting off their ass to do what they needed to do in the past. And when their opportunity came, it was too big for them to ignore. So it got them out of that sort of stuck energy for their self. Like in other words, for their path. As far as the connection goes, it's in stuck energy because this person has not yet found their happiness or their success or their stability or what they need to feel like they're okay in life, okay? So I feel like that's what happened a little bit with this. That's where it sort of like went sour if you, if you, um, you know, resonate with that. So there's always lessons. So let's see some of the lessons that are attached to this for them and for you. Um, why this broken heart is so significant. Why? So for you, we've got your soul is here to conquer loneliness. So it could be that you were dependent on this person to give you companionship, love, affection, attention, all those things. And when they were suddenly gone, or you know, you might have had an energy where you sort of saw this coming, or you may have always dreaded it, or regret, not regretted it, but feared it. Like you might have been like, I gotta hold on, I gotta hold on, because I can't be lonely, I just can't stand lonely, I can't do it, can't do it. And this is teaching you that, you know, yeah, you can when you're forced into something, sometimes that's the only way that you gain significant, you know, knowledge or peace to understand, you know, where this comes from, where these energies come from. I also feel like I'm getting from spirit. I have to just say this. I feel like this other person, the person in question, was very prideful. I don't know if it's like they couldn't swallow their pride or they're not able to, um, I don't know, like show gratitude for what they already had. So let's see what their lesson. Theirs is to learn how to trust. So it could be that that was an issue with the two of you. Maybe they didn't trust you the way that, you know, you wanted to. And there was nothing about you particularly that they felt like they couldn't trust. But I feel like they have a hard time with their feelings and emotions. They don't know how to express. And I also feel like they've been screwed in the past. So instead of like getting hurt and connecting and committing, they'd rather be distant and detached because they just don't want to get hurt. And I also feel like they thought this was a distraction taking away from what they needed to do sort of in life to move on or to get better with themselves. So let's get a, um, a final card for like future, how you can sort of heal what you know you, you need to do for you. Like, what will help you sort of get over this broken heart part of it? All right, so we've got thought. I feel like you're overthinking it. You're thinking about it way too much. Um, it might be a newer wound, which if that's the case, that's perfectly fine. But if it goes past six months, um, six to nine months of ruminating is very unhealthy. 
Um, so I feel like spirits, like you have to sort of start to distract yourself. Like, I don't know, start reading, watching different shows, talk to different people, write, draw, do whatever, find a creative outlet, a hobby, something to help you take your mind off of this person. Because I feel like they're, they're gone. They're doing their thing. So in our separations, we need to do our thing and not overthink things. Okay. I hope that that was helpful. Let's get on to the next card. So if you pick card number two, we've got poor outlook. So if you pick card two and you are wondering or need to know the energy that stems behind such a broken heart in the twin flame thing, I feel like they had possibly a poor outlook. You could have a poor outlook now. Like being in an energy where you're just like, you know, everything sucks, life sucks, I can't believe another person did this to me or hurt me like this. I said I was never going to be like this. I said I was never going to fall in love. I said I was never going to give. And then now it's all that cynical kind of bitter. I feel like they too had a poor outlook, meaning they may have not seen destiny for themselves or been able to take the bull by the horns to go the way they need to go in life. They might have been a little negative. They might have been a little, you know, blah about things. It could be why you found each other, okay? Sometimes we you, unite with our twin, but then we go into separation very quickly because there's still a lot wrong with ourselves. There's still so much that's not healed. There's still so much raw. So I feel like you both might have had this. You might both might have been sharing that energy. And the timing was definitely off for that, okay? So let's, let's get something else to see. Sort of like, I feel like, you know, a major way that was their feeling or you feeling uh, surrounding this. And why they had such a poor outlook. Why? Or why did you have such a poor outlook? So we've got self-torture. So I feel like it could be that, you know, you are tor definitely torturing yourself over this. So you have to stop doing that. Don't put yourself in this imprisonment. Um, they may feel this way too. It could be that you might have be you might have been sharing an energy that, you know, was a little more negative, and you could have been sort of imprisoning yourselves when it comes to life path and your destiny and what's my purpose and I don't like my job what should I do should I do this instead I feel like there was a lot of lost feeling and a lot of vulnerable feeling and a lot of insecure feeling and a lot of lack of stability feeling for both of you okay so that could be why you went into separation let's get something else and see so you're sort of building up yeah look we've got forgive Forgiveness is for you. So it could be people from you guys' pasts. Um, and I'm saying you guys both because if you're twin flames, then you're sharing the same sort of lessons and the same sort of challenges. They might just look a little different, but the core of them is really the same. So it could be you guys got to, you know, sort of figure out how you can forgive each other. Um, you know, if you need to forgive them, you do that. You know, you're not going to know if they're going to forgive you. That's fine. Um, and you're probably saying, forgive me for what? It's just the energy, guys. It's the energy. Um, you guys got to forgive from the past. That's the core here. It's past people forgiveness, okay? And that could be why there's like this tortured sort of, you know, energy here, okay? There's always, you know, two sides to everything. Believe me, I know that. So let's see. Um, you know, what was in need of major healing here for you? What what was so hard about this broken heart? What was the most thing that needs to be healed that's hurt from this broken heart from your twin? Oh, rejection. So you felt in, intensely rejected when this person has this constant poor outlook. I feel like, you know, you might have been more positive than them and now you're in a poor outlook. But being rejected is, is terrible because you literally feel like you're not good enough. You're not pretty enough. Well, was it my hair? Was it my teeth? Was it my job? Was it this? Was it that? It's not anything earthly or particular. It's the energy, okay? When the energy is not right, you're going to be split up. So if you both have issues from the past, like forgiveness issues, maybe negative thinking, you know, looking past that, um, getting into a better energy where you're more satisfied with what you're doing in life, I feel like that's what it is, the core. So you feeling rejected, it could be that, you know, where else did you feel rejected in life? Was it in the past from another lover of yours or another person that you were in, in, involved with? Is it from parents? Is it from, 
it, it, spirit is encouraging you to dig deeper into that rejection wound, okay? So that is really literally the most core thing that hurt you the most that broke your heart here in this connection. So let's get into lessons because there's always lessons. There's always lessons what spirit is trying to teach us that stem off of this rejection. Let's see their lesson and then yours because they could have felt rejected too in life and maybe that's why they have the poor outlook too. So let's see what yours is. Okay. Well, you've got materialism. So I don't know if, you know, you were overly concerned about where you're going to end up in life or if, you know, you always feel like you need more money or you're afraid to have no money later in life, like you would be poor. It could be that you value certain things that maybe, you know, you're maturing now and that they don't really have that much meaning to you anymore. Or it could be that love is to be valued over all things. You might be struggling with that. Let's see what theirs is. Theirs is about structure. So if they have that poor look energy, I feel like Spirit's trying to teach them structure, putting obstacles in their way so they don't fall into old pattern ways like being lazy or not um, being positive about a situation. So they're learning about that. And it's very hard. I feel like their energy sort of like rubbed off on you that you may be feeling some of these things of their energy that you never felt before. Does that make sense? I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to get it out right the way spirit sometimes is so quick. Um, so let's see something major, major energy, a major um, intention, a major uh, event with people or spirit or um, outlook or, you know, uh, consciousness around this. Let's see. Oh, we've got playing it safe. So it could be, you know, both of you might have played it safe in life and never took the chances that you wanted to take. And there was resentment over that. It could be that, you know, you projected this to one another, you know, and playing it safe. Sure, that's great. But sometimes we feel unfulfilled. Playing it safe means, yeah, we got money in the bank. We're not going to take any risky chances with money. We're not going to be foolish. We're not going to be. But sometimes it makes us not grow up because then we could feel like we don't know how to live. We could feel like we're stuck in like teenage years mentally and we don't know how to live. We don't know now how to adult, they call it. So in the past, that could be your energy or theirs of that playing it safe. I want to make sure I have. I want to make sure I'm okay later in life. I don't want to take this risk because what if it makes me lose everything I've worked so hard for? So that's the playing it safe energy. So let's see what else. We've got friends and colleagues. So I don't know if this had to do with work, status, that kind of thing. Um, or the people that you network with or things that you want to try to do. Like, I don't know if this person particularly relied on friends and networking with friends and friends of friends for work or for a basis for work. I don't know if you were networking and you decided that, you know, you needed to start take to step, started to need to take steps towards a new way for yourself like a new job or going back to school. I feel like also people were in the way of this connection. I feel like too many people know you guys business and too many people were sticking their nose in and it confused you. One person's like, well, give them a chance. Another person might've been like, well, no, they're, they're a piece of shit. Or this one might've been like, well, you know, let's see what happens. I feel like you got confused by people around you or they got confused or they have too many people in their business around them. I also feel like, this is sort of needing to be around different people sometimes. So let's see what else we get. And we do have a kindred partnership. So this is definitely twin flame, or if it doesn't resonate as twin flame, it's definitely soul high, high level soulmate connection. It really doesn't matter the label. Don't worry about the label. It's the energy you feel towards this person. So, I mean, it's there. And I feel like... You definitely are meant to reunite. You definitely are meant to work through these issues. So let's get some advice for the future. Something that, you know, can help you finally get over this broken heart. We've got strength. This is teaching you strength. Basically, I feel like, I mean, I know sometimes it's harsh, but spirits like we needed you to understand that you're supposed to be using and building your inner strength. You already have so many beautiful skills and talents and different things about yourself, avenues you haven't explored about yourself. So I feel like spirits like we're giving you strength to override the what you see and perceive about this 
heartbreak, okay? We're pushing you beyond that because we know it's like working out your heart muscle and it's only gonna make you stronger. But you have things about yourself you don't yet know. You haven't explored yourself. You don't, I feel like spirit's like, you need to get to know yourself better. You need to get to know what you like, what you want, what you need. And that in itself will build strength for you. I hope that that was helpful, guys. Please let me know what you think. Okay, on to card number three. So if you picked card number three, the energy that could have caused such a broken heart is clingy, holding on too tightly. So, you know, this is not a, a great energy, obviously, but I don't know if this is your twin or soul level connection feeling clingy to you or if you felt clingy to them or they perceived you as clingy. So we know that the clingy energy is usually abandonment. So that's something that comes out a lot in twin flame separation and it's not, don't feel crazy or anything like that. But it's also trying to teach you, okay? Dig deeper to why are you feeling this way? Why do you feel? And let's not uh, fixate on, but it's my twin flame, but it's my twin flame. No, it doesn't matter if you're, it's your twin flame. This is a pattern, okay? So I feel like spirit's like, you need to figure out why this energy was um, adamant. It's showing that that's where the broken heart is coming from. So could it be that you've had a lot of relationships like this, like turbulent or relationships that ended this way and left you feeling like this empty, like, no, but I need you, like, please, like that way. Or, you know, is it that you're clinging on to yourself because you don't want to give a lot of yourself. You don't want to lose a lot of yourself. You don't want to open up. Okay, and that can transcend for them too. It could be that they were clinging on to themselves and they did not want to um, sort of let up. Okay, it could be that they were clinging on to the past or you could be clinging on to the past. Any of those messages resonate. All right, let's see what else. What else? And we've got, bro oops, we've got broken glass feeling fragile. So after this person, I feel like if you guys are in separation, after this person has left, you're feeling like they smashed you into a million pieces. So spirit's like, let's start to pick ourselves back up. Let's start to piece things back together because I'm getting from spirit. Some things, yes, were painful, but you might've like made them worse than they were. Okay. Or they might've made shit worse than it really was because it's sort of a dramatic kind of broken feeling like that broken, broken feeling. Um, and I feel like spirits like you have strength to put yourself back together. This connection feels broken right now, but it's an illusion. It's not really broken. Okay. I feel like you both are a little broken and you both need to figure out where this all comes from and sort of admit some things to yourself in the privacy of your own, you know, and let's see what else. Oh my God, we got a lot of broken. The crack will always be there. So I feel like you feel, even if you put yourself back together, even if you um, get back together with this person, there's always going to be something significant about this. Like it's always going to be in the back of your mind, if not already. You might have been through this already, like on again, off again, okay? I'm getting that you feel like you can't trust this person, like ever again, Um you, you feel like you can't trust them. You feel broken because of it. I, you know, you know that if you forgive them, even if you put this piece back, you're going to still see the crack. So to me, I feel like there either has to be some type of forgiveness towards this person if it's ever going to be. Forgiveness to yourself because, you know, even if you had the clean energy, it doesn't matter. If you have these broken feelings, this is all about you. This is all about bettering yourself and getting out of that sort of stuck energy and sadness trying to uplift yourself, okay? So let's see sort of some major energy, some major um, consciousness, some major event or something with people or anything surrounding this connection that sort of aided the broken heart or aided your twin's behavior. So we've got a conscious of lack. So now I feel like this could be you feeling like you don't have anything left. You feel like this is almost turning your heart like stone. It's sort of making you feel very cold and bitter about things. I also feel like you feel like you never have enough of something, whether it's love, attention, affection, money. I feel like you feel very depleted in those ways. And spirits like go one by one to those things and, you know, try to fix them, try to strengthen them, try to get yourself more positive about them. Start to show more gratitude towards things that you do have. Um, even be gra gracious or have gratitude that spirit pushed this person away from you at this time. I also feel like this is them. 
They feel very empty no matter what they do, no matter who they're with, no matter um, if they have money or not. They're, they're always sort of in this, I don't have, I don't have. So this could be an energy that you both share. Let's see what else. So deserving. So spirit wants you to know that you are deserving of love and to be treated the right way. I feel like that's a problem um, when we go into separation because we forget that we are deserve needing to be deserving of love and that we need it and that, you know, the self-love thing is so hard for so many people. So I feel like know that you are deserving. Don't let this wreck you because even if the A was twin flame and they're gone, you know that there's other people coming into your life. You have to know that. You have to know you have other connections coming in. Yeah, look, gratitude. So they want you to be a little more gratitude. I feel like if you get in an energy of gratitude, you won't feel so down. You won't feel so sad. I feel like even if you did something like write a gratitude journal, like what are you grateful for? Something, find one thing every day, whether it's water, air to breathe, waking up today, um, your pet, uh, the food you have in, in your house, um, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, anybody. I feel like spirits like focus a little bit more on that. So let's see the lessons attached to this. So yours is about patience. So I feel like there is some times in your life that you feel like you want things faster or you might want things in an instant like sort of gratification way. So I feel like the gratitude thing will help with that. Because if you think about in the past all the things you had to work for or all the things that took time, I feel like you'll remind yourself that patience is, really is a beautiful thing. And their lesson is to understand discipline. So they may be an undisciplined person. Commitment requires discipline, okay? So if you weren't getting commitment from this person, it's because they didn't have any discipline to give you the commitment. Commitment is more than saying, I do, on paper or having rings. or It's more like it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of trust and openness and to being able to talk and share feelings and build intimacy. That person couldn't do it. They just couldn't do it. So I don't know if, you know, there was infidelity or they broke your trust by promising you uh, things. Um, I feel like either way, the two core lessons here, they could definitely transcend to each other. Like it could be you resonate more with the discipline. They might resonate more with the patience. But really, I feel like it could be both energies because tied into this connection. So let's see something else that is sort of like something that you need to heal because of this broken heart. And we've got beauty. So I feel like you never felt like you were beautiful enough. So spirits like get on the self self love and, and self appreciation wagon. Get into the gratitude energy and you will definitely start to feel better. Spirit will definitely lead you to start feeling better. Let's see sort of a major advice to get you through um, the trek that you're on trying to get over this broken heart. Expression. Now, to me, that says I feel like you need to do a journal or you need to share share this story with others. So I have a twin flame separation support group. I will leave a link for it if you're interested. It is a place for healing and to get help and to, um, you know, evolve. It's not a place to just sit, you know, and watch what everybody else says and, you know, vent. it's good for venting. But there's a lot of great people in there that are experiencing this. OK, Um so I feel like expression, I feel like you might even get a chance to tell this person how bad they hurt you. And because of that, I feel like you might need that, that closure. You might need to be able to just express the way you feel, even if it's on paper. And it will help you start your transformation. I hope this was helpful, guys. Please let me know what you think. Love and light always.